hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl Lomzi. i'm back again with another video this time around i am vlogging on how i made this dress i made it for a fellow content creator naomi dambelo i'm going to drop her link in the description section it's a um, birthday outfit that i made i started by you know constructing the bust the corset after constructing the corset i went ahead to join the skirt as you can see this is this corset i made with satin i made it with some um, silver satin i have already prepared the corset i have a video on how i make my corset you go ahead and learn how to do that this corset has a yoke i used um skin mesh to do the yoke so now i am making the skirt i am making it with a free hand what i mean by free hand i'm not using pattern to make the skirt the mermaid skirt it has slits and it has a low high low effect so i have a video on how to make um mermaid skirts without patterns so you don't need to do that spread and um slash and spread method this you actually need to just use your hand and so that i'm going to drop that in the description section so you learn how to make your mermaid skirts without patterns when i was making this video i was actually planning to I was recording particularly to show you guys how to make mermaid skirt with slits without patterns but since i've already put up another video on how to make mermaid skirt with slits um freehand sewing so i decided i'm just going to vlog and show you guys how i made this birthday dress so guys remember to watch that video if you want to learn how i made my skirt mama skirt without patterns go ahead i'll drop that in the description section so you you learn how to do that and if you have any question you can drop that in the comment section i will be glad to answer your questions now i'm going to cut open for the slits it has side slits front side slits so i'm going to be cutting that by dividing the boss pan by two and you know cutting out that so for the slit i added one inch for that and for the slit so i'm going to cut open make it that here cut open that slit and I'm going to, you know, open up um, some inches for the slit. So once I cut this part, it will be remaining one inch. That one inch is what I'm going to use as my skirt easing. If you watch the video, the full video on how to make mermaid skirt without pattern, you will understand what I mean. So I will cut off this line, this um, dart here. And cut open the side slit on one side and then the remaining side on the other side i hope i'm making sense on the other side the remaining one inch after um taking in the dart the remaining would be for the hip easing i hope if you're a designer or if you're a tailor you'll understand what i'm trying to say and if you're a beginner just go ahead and watch the other video so that you understand what i'm talking about so i'll go ahead to cut out the side slits now this is how it will look when i go to join it once i'm done with this i'm going to go to the back for the back i made a high low flare that would give you that um fish tail that um tail you know mama scared with tail so i'm going to use the knee length the knee circumference and construct a radius 
and then I get the length. So the radius I'm going to use is from the circumference of the flay. Then to know the length of the, um, the skirt, I will drop this and measure from the knee down to the hemline. And this is going to be the, um, the length I'm using for the side of the skirt. I hope you understand what I mean. So for me to make the flay, I folded this fabric in two and then i'm going to take round like this to make the high low so now i am making the radius once i'm done i will get the length of the skirt and i'm going to add 10 inches or so it depends on how high you want your um high low to be next is to cut out the lace using the pattern that i have cut out with the satin so after joining it joining it to the corset this is how it's looking the next thing i will do is to add the embellishment to it i'll add the embellishment here and here and i make sure i see maintain the basque corset shape yeah as you can see, I'm not using my mannequin. This is for a plus size model. So I like to work flat. So I go ahead and start placing my embellishment. I've cut out this. I have a video on how to cut out embellishment out of a fabric, which is always better to use. So I'm going to place this and, you know, just keep working on it until I get the desired design I want. So with this, I've come to the end of today's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be able to, you know, follow my sewing tutorials and my vlogs. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.